okay these in general these uh these movements these stage movements nowadays are pretty played out um there is no recompensing and no uh recuperation behind it my thoughts on the 18 carol killing the trainee and like i don't really blame the 18 year old from chicago um i think like straight guys lives matter i guess but i i'm tired of all this you know stupid lives matter movements you know it's just like really dumb i don't know it's like this is like really make-believe too i just having a vibe is like pretty much bull crap you know and i don't blame the 18 year old killing the trainee uh he has every right to be infuriated um like this is actually what happens when like uh when you promote a false image and turn to something that you really not to you really don't want to be like why risk your life and turn to some other like trying to turn to a woman but you actually a really man that God actually naturally gave you. I mean, if you hate really being like, if you hate really being a man, then just all you have to do is just, you know, talk to somebody around like your family members or some or your friends. But just, you know, watering down or dumbing down your own testosterone won't do it. You know, it's it's not it's not that serious. You know, like it, it's just not. People just take it to heart, just because like they got rejected as a kid and uh, like men, like when they when boys get get raised. Of like in a sinister, like have a sinister upbringing. It's just that um, they are at a father in the household. Um, they're been receptive to like um, maternal products and like materialism, and um, you know, adapting or adopting. Uh, female gestures and mannerisms. I mean, again, like, it's just, it's just not, it's not that deep. Like, people just, like, put their life on the line just to be a trainee, and like, this is actually what happens when you try to be something that you're not. Conformity, uh, being a trainee, that is actually a big no-no. And of course, it's bad enough you had the LGBT um, month, like Pride Month, when and usually the Pride is, is all about them. I really despise, you know, what's that? I just really despise what people do. Um, There's a guy who was holding like a Black Lives Matter um, cardboard box, but, uh, but I, like the, the kid was actually like a baby, man. Like he literally just got fresh out of high school. Um, I believe, and he just, like, he was just trying to, like, you know, get to know the person, but, like, it was just number, like, prior, the, the prime game 2.0. But, nobody's not playing Forrest Whitaker.
And nobody's not trying to pursue a relationship with a trainee. Now, that's just way beyond us, like way beyond me too. You know, if you don't like cut your dick off and you know, just wanna like emasculate, like self emasculate yourself and tone down your testosterone, then what is the point of you living anyway? This is why like these movements are a laughing stock. That's what's in common, they're just a laughing stock and there's nothing you know, there's nothing like beneficial from that, you know? You know, do you actually want to like become something that you're not? Do you want to become a transgender lesbian? Well, cut out the lesbian stuff. But do you actually want to be gay because you get rejected by women so much? I mean, it's not funny, it's... I mean, I, I mean, the, the transgender is usually put, you know, his life on the line like that. I mean, nobody's not putting a gun to his head and like telling him to be a transgender. I mean, I don't blame, again, I don't blame, like, if I was in the shoes, I'll be traumatized as well. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not experienced with guns, to tell you the truth, but, yeah, like, I, I'll just continue that, um, like, that mutual, uh, relationship. I, I just had this continue with, and yeah, I don't blame them. Like, there's, it's rare that straight guys... You have straight guys that are like being direct and you know, they don't want like a gay relationship or like the same gender relationship. They don't roll like that. And that's why like the politics are pressing, keep like objectifying and keep pushing this agenda with the, the transgender movement and all train all transgender lives matter which it does not matter because you know it's like why do their lives matter as a matter of fact you know you know they've been like been bullied in high school uh bound to make, like, really committed to suicide and stuff. Or having, like, a really bad father or a father's home. I don't know what compels that transgender to be invincible. You know, it's a thing like, you know, I'm just gonna be, um, I'm just gonna depict this image of myself and just go out of my way and try to have, you know, sex with men to a point where, like, I'm just gonna avoid the conflict and avoid the karma or consequences. Because they try to, like, take shortcuts in life and claim that it's something they're not. And so they can, like, I probably have like uterus, uteral envy or something. I don't know. Because they want to have like the same rights as women and they want to act just like women, which is really not going to work. Anyways, um, this is my video. Mine Assassin, MGTOW. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you then. Peace.